Hey guys, for current subscribers, welcome to video 2 of the series of FLL video and robot ideas. And today I'm going to show you guys a robot that I made from scratch from the uh, FLL base kit. We're going to have a blast today while I show you guys this robot. Um, and this is a sneak peek of what it looks like. And we'll show you guys it uh, in the lab. So yeah, on if you're new here, the lab is kind of where we do our science experiments. So all right, let's get right to it because nobody likes to hear me talk, as my current subscribers may know. All right, guys, if you're new here, also subscribe. There might be something right here. If there is, or over here, here, click in. There'll be a subscribe thing, or wait till the end, and there'll be a subscribe bar. So you don't even have to leave this video to subscribe. Or scroll down a little bit. So I want you to scroll down. You see the subscribe bar? Hit the subscribe bar right there. You don't see? You don't even have to leave. All right. You want to see the robot? You came here to see the robot. Let's go see the robot. All right. So we are here in the lab, uh, looking at our robot here, our robot build and design. I want to talk a little bit about it and show you guys some of the components we put on here, sensors, and a little bit on how we made it. So it's kind of like a, a double decker uh, robot. So we flip it over like this. You see under here, there's actually nothing here. And these two poles here is actually what uh, the main block up there is sitting on. Uh, so, yes. So uh, if we ever have any other attachments, we can also fit them in somewhere down here. As you see, there's a lot of holes and uh, attachment points that we could put things on. Uh, or attachments on. So, and then we have our decorations here because who does not like decorations? So we turn it on because I like that pretty green color. Uh, and we have, okay, so let's look at sensors. So, in the front, we're going to have a pole and then we're going to have a block up here. So this will be like our touch sensor here so it can come up and push at something. Uh, over here, we have our color sensor. So you know how on uh, FLL mats, there's always uh, lines, especially this year for city shapers for the FLL, city shapers for this year. It looks like we actually have a line coming out of base. Of course, we have our ball bearing axle back here for our uh, um, robot design, and it's actually all straight. Or it's all straight. It's all, um, its center mass is straight. It's really good. Uh, we have three of our n four numbers filled up and two or A and B and then one two three for our um, wiring attachments on this robot so we have the us uh, uh, sorry we have the touch sensor we have our color sensor sensor and then sorry and then we have our rotation sensor over here so it can kind of of course uh, sense rotation um, and then we have our two large motors in the front here. We have our large motor here and our large motor here. We have blocks here so the uh, uh, wheels can stay in place. Uh, we actually programmed it. You're going to see in a little bit. Uh, it would go out and then come back. It does a little zigzag pattern. And uh, actually, I'm not going to put it in the video, but uh, it will end up. So remember this, it's going to end up a little bit to the right. That's exactly where it should. And I was rewatching the video too earlier. And uh, it actually did exactly what it was supposed to. So this is a very good robot design. And it's really small, so it'll fit in your base. And this is actually basically the point of this robot. So we have our uh, attachments here. You can attach things onto here. This still slides. You know why? Well, this is why. We're gonna uh, attempt. We're gonna attempt building to. We're gonna attempt to build a box over this top here, and then so we can can have like our attachment slide on top. That's an idea uh, that we found at the competition last year for the tournament. Um, it's really fun to work together, guys. I mean, a big part of the competition is working together, getting ideas from other teams, and you know, asking questions. Ask as many questions as you can, guys. It's very important at uh, competitions. So we talked about sensors, our motors, and in this we only have two motors. Our two large motors, motor A and B, are plugged into our A and B port. And then we have, it looks like, uh, um, I can't tell exactly which sensor is plugged into each. It looks like the color sensor is into one, the touch sensor is two, and it looks like the rotation sensor is in three. I actually think we have that. Or, okay, yes. Actually, we got it pretty well go there, guys. Good job. Uh, so we have our poles in the front here that are holding this up and then we also have our wire it's actually not attached to the touch sensor right now uh, because we're pulling it out and we're going to work on the bar that's going to go on the front here and we can show you guys that in a future video maybe um, yeah so that is basically the robot design about the robot uh, I'm going to give you guys a second you know what you want to see the bottom so you have the top view of it this is the top view sorry about the shadow there top view uh, let's flip it over and look at the bottom see if we see anything so of course, ball bearing axle, rotation sensor, light sensor under here. We have our red light, our infrared light. Uh, sorry, I forgot what it's called. Um, a big part of the wheels. It's not so they're sliding around. So these two poles here in the middle, you see them. So they actually will hold these wheels in place. 
Um, then we have our little, our plus pole too, sticking out of the end that you guys can still see. And, uh, yeah. So, we have our base here. We made a box and attached the two large motors. So, then we tried to find a way to put the block on. So, we had a wall going up on this side, but then it was just hanging over here. So, we had to put up these poles. And it does bounce a little bit, so it's pretty stable. But it's okay. So, going over a bridge just also would be pretty good. But not necessarily uh, because it's so small. So, if it was a little bigger, that would be ideal for going over a bridge. But for this year, for City Shapers, it looks like this could solve pretty, most, pretty well. It solved the missions pretty well. Uh, so I'm pretty excited. So why don't we go check over uh, what this robot can do and then we'll come back and just talk a little more because you know everybody likes to hear me talk. <laughs> uh, and then yeah, alright, so there's no really talking in this video. Uh, so this is the uh, uh, video of the robot running. We'll play it over in the end too. Make sure you stick to the end too. Uh, so I'll give you some competition tips too that uh, I found when we were there. All right, so that was the robot. Let's see it run. That That's okay. So that was good. That was a good run. So what did you guys think about the robot running? Like I said, it did end up a little to the right, and it turned really well. It turned like 10 times better than I was expecting it. So this build is definitely pretty good. Uh, I want to tell you a couple things I really like about this robot uh, that are pretty important, and then I want to tell you some competition tips for when you guys get there. All right. First thing uh, that I really like is the touch sensor in the front so it can run up to something and then hit it. So there's like a wall here. It's running up to it and it'll push in the sensor. So we'll have a pull coming out and then we'll have a little block here if you know what I mean. So when it comes in, it comes in front of us and then or it will drive up to an object and then it will t push in. I really like how small this robot is. If we look again from the top, again, the shadow, wow. It's really small. This is my hand. It's actually smaller than my hand, pretty much. So this is definitely a small robot. It'll fit in base, and it's still a square, so this robot will be really good for making a base around the top, a block around the top, and can have, like, slide-on attachments is our idea, or my team's idea for this year. All right. I also really like the color sensor um, on the back here. I think it might help to follow a little more, but I'm still adjusting a couple things. Uh, maybe we can make it in the middle so we'll follow the line better. Uh, I really like how everything is so center on the uh, center mass is straight too. Alright, so here's some competition tips. Whew, sorry about it. It's a little bit dark in here, but that's okay. Uh, so my first competition tip would be to walk around when, of course, so you always have your time in between your uh, runs for your robot on the mat. And, of course, the mat isn't the whole part, so I want you guys to walk around, uh, greet other teams, wish them good luck. Look for ideas from the other teams because uh, teams, I mean, it's really good to help each other out, give them ideas. That's the whole point of FLL, or people like me and you working together and having fun. Uh, this year, I'm super excited. We're going to have a blast, and I can't wait for City Shapers this year. All right, guys, so the second thing I'm going to say is... Always feel confident. I'm, I'm, I know it's, I mean, even I felt it last year for the indoor orbit competition. I was almost shaking when I'm going up. It's so nerve-wracking, like, okay, I got to do this. got to get the max points. And it's like, it's okay. Just chill. I mean, when you go right up, you just go, you just go whoo, push it all out. Just have fun. It's all about having fun, guys. Seriously. And I also thank you guys for watching. Of course, let's make this short. Uh, quickly, well, don't end the video now. Don't end the video right yet, okay? Uh, so we're going to play the run of the robot at the end, so watch all the way till the end, so make sure you do that. So I want you to scroll down a little bit, okay? There's going to be a subscribe button, so press that little subscribe button, okay? So it says subscribe now, and then you see the little bell, you can click on that. So guess what? You guys are now on the Zaki42 team. Uh, also, my channel is all about making science videos. Remember, okay, don't click away yet. Um, and okay, now uh, click on this video. This is an awesome video for you to watch. Before, if you want to rewind, there might have been a card in there somewhere too. There might not. But I want you guys to click this video, and then down here is the subscribe thing. So click that. Alright, guys, I wish you the best of luck in this year's FLL City Shaver season. Bye, guys. That's perfect. That's fine. Okay.
So that was good.